Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to 108 Dragons TV, baby. It's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemetheus. And yes, this is the episode that I'm going to talk about Nintendo's press conference, all their pricing, and the games that they showed, and what I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to give you an opinion on that goddamn 32 gigabytes of internal storage. I'm going to give you my opinion on that. I'm going to give you my opinion on those prices of that different individual devices and accessories. And even the system and launch titles. We're going to cover all that shit today. So I need everybody to stay focused and pay attention because this ain't going to be no three-minute video. This is going to be a quality video that you understand what you pre-ordered or what you was wondering about pre-ordering. You know what you're getting, and I'm here to bring it to you. Because next episode, y'all know what weekend this is. This is the weekend your boy Lemetheus is bringing you that showroom floor from that Nintendo Switch event. Yeah. And in the beginning of that episode, I will be announcing that winner. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you tune in and say, damn, is it me? Is it? <laughs> now, first thing we're going to get into... I'm going to get into launch date. March 3rd is the launch date. The world will be graced with a new Nintendo home console hybrid. Take it on the road. Hook up eight of them together. Use the Joy-Con as a mini controller so you could play in a whole circle of people. So that's what I'm talking about. Innovation. That's one of the reasons I do not have a problem with the price. First of all, you can hook up eight of them combined to have everybody play together on the go. Number two, it's a home console that you take your home experience on the road as a portable. That's two different features right there, plus the connecting of eight total devices, that's three. So it's a three-in-one system for $299.99. I think that is excellent because there's nothing else offering that. That's excellent, not on a home console front, excellent look so i don't have a problem with that 299 price tag now we're going to get into the pro controller the joy con set the joy cons individually left and right price the charging grip where you put the joy cons in and the dock and the racing wheel now my first negative nintendo's pro controller is ten dollars more than a playstation 4 or xbox one controller why I don't understand. It's $69.99. I think it should have been $59.99 with the rest of the market. But you know, this is Nintendo. I think they dropped the ball on that one. And another thing, they're not available for pre-order nowhere. They're not being talked about. People want that. They got a Street Fighter HD remix coming out with Evil Ryu and Aggressive Ken in it. And if you look at the Joy-Con controller when it's in that charging dock and you playing... There's no D-pad. It changed the face pad buttons. And you can't use that for Street Fighter. So they have to have this Pro Controller out. Nintendo, get on the ball with that. We need that. We definitely need that. Yes. Now, the Joy-Con set. If you buy a set of Joy-Cons, it's $80. $79.99. But if you buy them separately, they're $49.99. Which is $100 a piece, you know, a, a separately a pair. Or you buy them together and you get them for $80 and save $20. I think, I don't know if these are price holding prices. But as of currently right now, these are the prices. The charging grip, plug in two Joy-Cons. It got the USB port at the top. Charges the controllers as you play if it's plugged in. That's $29.99. It's not bad. The dock itself, which I don't know who will be buying the dock. That's $89.99, which is $90. I don't know why you need an extra dock. Maybe you want to move it to another room. That's possibly, that's what that could be. Now, on the racing wheel set for Mario Kart, <clears throat> last time it was $16, $16.99 for one racing wheel. You get a set for $14.99, 15 bucks. I can rock with that. So that's, that's the, that is the pricing for all the accessories currently available except the pro controller which is not currently currently available for pre-order everything else is set for that march 3rd release date now we're going to get into some launch games we got zelda breath of the wild 
everybody, that's a no-brainer for any Nintendo fan. That's what we will be purchasing. Now, we also have 1-2 Switch. This will not be your Mario, excuse me, your Wii Sports. This will not do the Wii Sports thing for the Switch. <laughs> you don't even look at the TV. You're looking at each other. The mini games are like two minutes apiece. <sighs> anyway, we also have Bomberman. That's for them people out there that enjoy that Bomberman. That will be another one of the launch titles. So hopefully they'll announce some more. Right now, those are the current three. Um, another problem I have with the Switch, which really don't have to be a problem, but they have to announce what they can accept. They have 32 big, excuse me, 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, if you buy Zelda Breath of the Wild, it takes up 3. Point, th excuse me, 13.8 gigabytes of RAM. You don't really start off with 32 gigabytes because whatever the system use for the RAM, um, excuse me, use for the memory to run, that comes out of that 32. So you're left for like 26 years. Now, uh, Zelda takes up 40% of that internal storage. You ain't left with much. Good note, Nintendo has allowed their device to accept SDC, oh, excuse me, SCDX cards. I think that's it. Micro SD. Yes. So, but they haven't announced the size that they can allow up to. Now, if you're looking at 64 gigabytes, you're looking at like a $25, $30 card. If you're looking at 128, you're looking at the $40 range, $45 range. When you get up to them 256 gigabytes, you're looking at 199, 169, 175, 125 for good brands. I wouldn't go generic because it is your internal storage. You want to buy good stuff. SanDisk, Samsung, Kingston. You want to stick to that. But Nintendo has yet to disclose the information on what sizes the Switch accepts. Hopefully, it's at least 128. At, at least. Because 64 gigabytes is really dirt cheap, but it's not enough. Especially if you got games that's going to be 13 and 14 gigabytes and you download them from the eStore whatever they have planned now this is a good thing nintendo switch has great parental controls in the app you will be able to put an app on your phone ios or android and monitor what your kid plays you can set time limits of how long they playing and it will give you alerts to say your kid has went over the goddamn limit and you can hit that switch zip you are no longer playing go do your goddamn homework that's a great look. And that also covers them with the whole online thing. And you can monitor every game and who they talking to and friends listen. That's also intriguing. So they have that covered. They also got lobbies and voice chat. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. And they said they're doing away with them codes and those friend codes. You'll listen. That was a mess. Now we should have friend lists. We're going to have lobbies. We're going to be able to invite our friends to a game like PlayStation or Xbox. That's what we want in Nintendo. Modern day online uh, capabilities. Now, when you first start out in March, the online service will be free until the fall. But when they start charging, you're going to get monthly games like Xbox Live and PSN for free. What I'm hearing is they're timed. I don't know if they're timed to pick them up like the other two consoles or they're timed when you pick them up, you only can play them for two months. We're going to find out. They didn't disclose too much information on that. We're definitely going to look into I'm definitely going to look into that. You definitely can register and manage friends. Now, I'm going to get into some other games. Right now, that game ARMS is looking pretty good. Mario Kart is running 1080p 60 frames. 1-2 Switch. We ain't doing that. Now, Splatoon 2 is looking amazing. They brought some new modes. They added some new weapons, new levels. It's not Splatoon 1 Remix. It's a Splatoon 2. And it has voice chat. <laughs> Finally, Nintendo has stepped into the goddamn millennium. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. 
Zelda, no brainer. RP action RPG. The world looks vast. It's huge. This is what that's a good look for Zelda. It's a new type of environment for Zelda. Hopefully, they could deliver and they and that's a new experience for Nintendo. So hopefully they could deliver that gameplay that we all are used to. Um Bomberman, if you're a Bomberman person, I remember that was big on Dreamcast online, four people. That was crazy. Now Street Fighter. Street Fighter Remix looking fantastic right now. It's looking fantastic, but not at $40. I think it was like 15 bucks on 360. I didn't say Xbox One. I said 360. They're charging 40 bucks for it. Hopefully it'll bring that down. Now, a game that's been like a sleeper for me. Game, uh, uh, it's an action strategy. It's really an RTS with mages, heavies, and um, um, uh, wizards. Um, it's called Has Been Heroes. Real nice game, man. I'm looking forward to trying that at the show. I'm definitely going to get into that. And I'm going to bring my experience from that showroom floor to y'all with that game. Um, Sonic Mania. Back to the 2D elements. Bringing back that original Sonic feel. They got away from the 3D for that one. Um, Fast R R RMX. Looks to be like an F-Zero racer or wipeout with no weapons. That looks pretty good. And for the holiday season, we will be getting that Super Mario Odyssey. Part of it looked like it's set in Manhattan with all them goddamn yellow cabs. And then the other part looked like, I guess, you warp to different worlds, a.k.a. Mario. Looks like you warp into different environments that the Mario world will bring. It looks like they're, re they're revitalizing that Super Mario 64 that was sold one-to-one -one with the Nintendo 64. So I'm definitely looking for that the holiday season. It's also, when is the last time we got two big Nintendo titles in the same year? Zelda at launch and Mario this holiday season. That's looking up in the best direction for Nintendo. Because the first thing people do is, when they get Nintendo systems, is they don't buy Nintendo systems to play Call of Duty. They get Nintendo systems to play Nintendo games. If Nintendo supports their system and get their fans to buy the system, third party will flourish because some of those people will only have the NES Switch. So they will be able to have different varieties of games and they will pick up the other games, man. Just put the console in the Nintendo hand first. And third party will follow. Yes. Now that's all the news I got for you today. Whoa. I'm going to say this. That press conference. <laughs> that press conference, man. It was okay for a Nintendo press conference. But we all know. If that was Microsoft. Or that was Sony's press conference. They would have got destroyed online. But... Nintendo Switch it was crazy. <laughs> they gave it an effort. You got to get some younger faces to represent your company, man. Them dudes are too old. They don't. They don't. They don't talk to the crowd that's playing. Even I'm. I'm an older gamer. I'm an original NES gamer, and they do not. They do not do it for me. And I, the internet went crazy with that. But let's not give them a hard time. They all go on the right way. Nintendo's looking up. And yes, next episode, we will be on that floor at that Switch event. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be electrifying. I'm sure. Your boy Lemetheus. That's all the news I got for you today. And I'm out. Cheer.